if we were flying along and we looked out the window and saw some weather in the form of clouds or thunderstorms, we can bring up our weather radar and we've got a display here showing intensity. Now the magenta, the purpley colour there is the greatest intensity. We then have the amber and green and then the black which is showing clear weather. Straight ahead of us we have a cell which is showing some intensity that would give us some turbulence. While it's unpleasant, we don't want the customers to experience weather that we could avoid. So we could fly the aircraft around that weather. So what I can do is turn the aircraft and I can avoid that cell, the cell of weather. So I've now avoided that cell. And if you look out the window, you can see that there's areas of blue so that we have avoided the dark area on the left which is a vertically developed cumulonimbus cloud lots of ice crystals going up and down and so there would be a reasonable amount of turbulence in there we're now clear of that weather and if i choose to i could then fly the aircraft away from this cell so it's a case of times of weaving around the weather bear in mind most of our flying is done in the middle 30,000 feet band 35, 37, 39,000, where we're above most of the weather. We do get some vertically developed cumulonimbus at that level, and the weather radar is most useful to avoid the cells that we predict would have the most vertically developed turbulence.